everybody we're just about ready to start another house and uh, it's it's gonna be a nice one to do so I'm gonna show it to you here it is Got a bit of peeling happening it's all acrylic house is probably 20 to 30 years old so we're gonna give it a nice colonial look gonna use those colors that's in that hood there probably I'll give you a bit of a walk through all this balustrade in here is pretty well buggered um, so what we're thinking is we rip that out and do a stainless uh, rails around there you see a lot of rotten timber and stuff up there we'll do a nice two-tone steps here you can see these are all buggered Now all this here, we're getting a price, I'm waiting for a carpenter to turn up. We're going to get a price and we're going to line all this so that we just have the ceiling, nice ceiling there. The stained timber is not part of it. So you've got all your walls, the floor is not part of it. The owner's done that. So we've got, uh, yeah, so it's not a lot of fitting out. Good hardwood posts and handrails. So if you can imagine that with the stainless steel, it'd be really nice. And here's the carpenter here. So we're going to stick with the green, mainly because he's got the green there. This is a bit powdery. Um, this one, this side is. We've got some rotten timber up there. Yeah, so that's it. So we just strip that fascia off. And also that timber there that's starting to peel. Well, it wasn't more than starting to peel. It was pretty well buggered. I'll show you something funny. Um, it's a piece of tin here. And it says, Don't stand here for fuck's sake. <laughs> it actually is very soft. So I've already stood there. So it's a really hot day today. I've blown all this, um, cleaned all these gutters out. The blower. They were completely chockers. Uh, we're getting water leaks up here not stand on thing. Getting water leaks up there. So I've got to figure out how to stop the water from coming in underneath there. Um, I'm thinking that I might even go some expander foam and also up underneath there. There. Uh, maybe expander foam. You know, all that to stop the water from flowing back there. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do, I think. Because um, I fix stuff as I go and uh, this needs fixing. It's got water coming down. It's also got water coming down up there, so I've got to look at that. Now these gutters um, aren't that good. I've got another problem here. The, um, the downpipe couldn't even get to it, so I'm going to get the tin snips and cut that so that can be cleaned. That downpipe really needs just to go down there, not to come back here, because there's enough stuff happening here without putting more water there. So I'll show you what it actually looks like. 35 degrees up here today so that's what we've got that's the timber there is not in very good nick it's not lead it's about 20 years old this house maybe a little bit more but about that so it's not lead so that's what you saw sand it off now 
try and get up underneath there and I'm just using the um, drop sheet to lay on so I don't burn myself. But I'll get to that one. It shouldn't take too long. I've got to lay down to do it. And we're using the four inch sander. It's very glary up here. Using the four inch sander to do the job. And uh, yeah, so taking all this back here. Got to get back to that fresh wood, otherwise it'll never stick. Fresh wood, that's the secret. This is what it looked like here. So there'll be a bit of bog that needs to go there. I'll just strip all this off. So you never know what you're going to come on, you know, when you do repaints, price repaints. You can't see up here. I didn't come up here. I didn't know this was peeling. Um, I knew the fascia board needed sanding, but that's about it. And um, I've got some eaves that are falling apart as well, which I'll have to fix. So I'll fix that while I'm there. Glue all that back together. Um, yeah, so the colour I'm going, I've chosen the colour myself. The owner's given me permission to um, choose the colours. We're going to go colonial. Um, we're just going to go the green up there as normal. This is all going to be be um, hosed down not just hosed down but wiped off you see this powder you cannot paint over that do not paint over that and you can't just gurney it off because that won't help either so you actually need a rag and a hose here to wash that back oh that's so hot to wash that back to that surface there um, to make that stick and then um, I'll show you on here I'll have to come down a little bit now Let's just say this was in good nick. Oh god, that's so hot, so hot. See that powder? Do not paint over it. That has to be washed down as well. So this, we're, I'm doing the sanding and then, then this will be washed down. So I've done these bottom edges as you see there. Little arras the edges there. I don't know whether you can see that or not. But um, I've got three boards left. And the bottom one's down low, so it'll take a little bit. Yeah, so anyway, the colours. Let's go back to the colours. Let me choose the colours. We're going to go surf mist, double strength surf mist up to there. So the facial will be double strength surf mist. Um, so bring the eaves around. It'll be um, Brunswick green. And this will be a, um, a, like a, um, a cream, but it's like a little darker cream. With a tiny little bit of brown in it. Not unlike what it is. So there'll be our three colours and I'm going to try and use a red somewhere too. Um, so basically we're going to have three colours there. Brunswick green, um, surf mist and wall colour. So even up here is actually quite a lot of work. You can't just paint that all one colour. So how I normally do it, I'll paint it all. Um, then I'll come along. Well, there's a couple of ways we can do it. It's got to be washed of course. We can do the gutter, bring the gutter down then do the surf mist then do the wall paint um, probably bring the surf mist down two coats on the wall then put one coat of wall color on it so it should cover so that's it i don't know if you can see that it's 32 degrees out here and plus i'm up on the roof so it's got to be close to 38 up here 